Hello, how are you guys? Uh, welcome to today's lesson uh, where we are going to be looking at uh, uh, one of the nicest problems I have received uh, which falls under the category of number theory. So in this problem uh, we are given a very huge number uh, 2 to 70 plus 3 to 70 and we are asked to verify that this number is divisible by 13 as seen on your screen there so i'll suggest that you guys pause the video and try to see if you can figure this one out before you look into the solution otherwise let's get to it So to solve this problem, uh, at first we are going to take uh, our given number, which is 2 to 70 plus 3 to 70. And then we are going to rewrite this number in this form. We know that 70 can be broken down to as 2.35 plus 3, 2.35, which then further simplifies to 2 squared 35 plus 3 squared 35 so which gives us 4 to 35 plus 9 to 35 then we are going to stop here a bit so in order to solve this problem uh, one of the things that we're going to do now at this moment is i'm going to consider a polynomial f of a which is defined as below so we are going to consider uh, this polynomial f of a which is equal to a to n uh, minus or plus b to n where n is an element of integers you see so now what we're going to do is we are going to show that uh, this polynomial that we have considered there is divisible by a plus b whenever n is odd so now we shall show that a plus b divides f of a if n is odd you see so this is one of the things that we're going to show for our polynomial that we have considered because why are we interested in n being odd? Uh, the reason is that if you look at this expression, we took it from here where the uh, exponent were at even powers. Now we have reduced it to an expression whereby the powers are now odd. So what we are going to do now, we are going to verify that if every time we have an expression of this sort where n is odd, that expression is always divisible by a plus b. So to proceed, uh, we continue as follows. Now, first we are going to evaluate f of uh, minus b. So f of minus b is equal to a, sorry about this, uh, f of minus b is equal to minus b to n plus b to n. You see, so this expression is like this and it cannot simplify further unless if n is odd when n is odd uh, this expression can be further written as negative b plus bn if n is odd because uh, the negative one term which is sitting there will never change every time when n is odd it will always be negative one so i can pull it out and then we get that which becomes zero so we know that when this happens for polynomials, we know what follows from that. So this implies that a plus b is a factor of f of a. So this follows from the factor theorem. So if you're not familiar with the factor theorem, it's good that uh, you just find any pure mathematics textbook and just read on it. So we know from the factor theorem that if this happens, then this is a factor. So if this is a factor, uh, it simply means that uh, actually a plus b 
divides a f of a if n is odd like that you see so this is what we have achieved just by considering this polynomial so what then follows from this therefore it follows that four plus nine equal to 13 must be a divisor of four to 35 plus nine to 35, which equals to two to 70 plus three to 70, which was given. And the assertion follows. So that's it, guys. So I hope uh, you followed through the solution of this problem. And I would like to hear your comments about the solution of this problem. Thank you. See you next time.